My name is Andrew Reese. Um, I was born and raised in Providence, Rhode Island, um, all my life. My diagnosis had happened in 2005. Um, I was living with my sister in Providence off Hartford Ave. We had an apartment together. I never had a seizure in my life, but we were talking, she was cooking. And uh, all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, I kept repeating the same word. Didn't know why. I could see her. I could see me saying it, but I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't stop it. And then I blacked out, I thought, but when I woke up, the paramedics were in my face and they were picking me up off the ground. And my sister was explaining to me that I had a full-blown seizure. So they rushed me to the emergency room at Rhode Island Hospital. And uh, they did a CAT scan and they saw a mass, but they didn't know really what it was. So they had to do an MRI. And then that's when the doctors came back in and told me that they found a golf ball sized tumor in my brain. The first time they just clipped the mass and didn't even touch my brain. They just clipped it off the surface. But then the second time, they clipped the peanut mass, peanut shaped mass, and then they had to peel the, the other surface of it off my brain. So then I had right side weakness. I couldn't move my whole right side. Had to learn how to tie my shoes, hold a fork, speak. The Rhode Island Hospital staff, the doctors, the surgeons, the oncologists there, the nurses, everybody in the staff was great. They helped my family and me understand it every single day that we went there. Um, in detail, they just broke everything down to us about what my steps should be. And in the, in the beginning of my initial diagnosis, it didn't look good. So now it's looking better because I've been almost five years since then. So it's been a lot better now, but they've been great to me. Rhode Island Hospital has been amazing. I was absolutely confident when I got to Rhode Island Hospital that that's where I needed to be. Never thought for a second I needed to go anywhere else. Dr. J. Palin um, opened my eyes to a lot of things in my future plan. She um, allowed me to believe that I had a future. She was more talking about, you've been through a lot. Let's talk about how you're going to live the rest of your life to become the most healthy you can be. Uh, what I'm interested in is music. I've always been interested in music. My family has a great deal of music background. I was doing music more for what people wanted me to do, more than what I wanted to do. So my diagnosis and my doctors made me feel like maybe that's not the purpose that you were put here musically. Maybe it's something else to be more positive and put the awareness of cancer into the music that you do, which is not really seen much in the music that I do. But Yes, it definitely affected uh, my music in a positive way, though. You just, some people don't get up from this. They don't do as well as I did. So every day, every time I walk into the cancer center and see patients that are not doing as well as me, it hits me again like I'm very blessed. And that's what I would tell people, like, you know, just have the great attitude about it. And Rhode Island Hospital has helped with that tremendously.